In science and pre-K, we start with open exploration and then move into a more focused exploration where students are engaged more deeply into a subject and it's iterative over time. A science topic may be light and shadows. Students will have the opportunity to explore shadows in their neighborhood, in their classroom, maybe using shadow boxes and flashlights. A teacher may recognize that students are exploring how to make shadows bigger and smaller. Chris, why do we need a light bulb? Focused exploration would be the time when a teacher challenges the students to think more deeply about that particular science phenomenon. I think realistic expectations for young children in science are using science based on what they're interested in and really setting them up for success in that way. In lights and shadows, so they're already interested in their movement in their own bodies and their friends, so that's what we talk about. With building blocks and structures, then they're already interested in building those things, so giving them a challenge once they've already had time to explore and then are more interested, but really making it about their experiences has helped a lot. My role in encouraging my students to explore shadows was providing them with different materials that they could use to make shadows in the classroom. I gave them flashlights, different shadow puppets, and different things that made different shadows that they were able to use. A great way to really engage students in the classroom is just to put some compelling images around the area where the students are going to be using using the materials. You can put images of buildings in the block area and that can inspire the students to build tall towers or long buildings. In the blocks area, for example, I have pictures of different DC monuments and buildings that they can build themselves or attempt to build themselves with the block material. You can put images near the water center where the students can think about pouring or water moving and how water moves in nature. In focused exploration, the teachers have the opportunity to challenge students to think more deeply about about the materials that they're using. They present them with a specific challenge and the students can ask questions, the teacher will clarify questions for them, and students will have the opportunity to then continue and explore doing that particular challenge. With Moonbear Shadow, the activity is first to really have students talk about what a shadow is and how our shadow follows us with the movement of the sun, which then can lead to activities outside where we make our own sundial. Um, it can lead to different activities where it's like shadow tag, where they're identifying shadows of different objects, matching shadows to different objects, and understanding how the sun moves and how the sun and light affect a student's shadow. Um, another story that talks about the movement of the sun in time is The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. I use a lot of different types of technology in my classroom to teach science. I like to use the smart board, a digital camera to explore different science concepts. I find my students ask a lot more questions when they're engaged in the smart board because often I have them going to the smart board and doing different activities. Over time, the teacher will notice materials are much more familiar to students and they're interested in becoming engaged. The smart board helps students learn science by putting something right in front of them that they're able to touch and use. So when we were working on shadows, I was able to use the smart board to show pictures that they had taken of shadows and cover up what was making the shadow to get them thinking about the different shapes of shadows that they saw and what was making those shadows. The students can be inspired by so many different things. There are maybe things in their community that they can go out and be inspired. Those things can be inspirations back in the classroom that can help the children to go deeper in their understanding about how science works in the real world.